All right, let's look at yet another interesting question. Y prime plus Y cut X is equal to 2 cos X. Again, shine your eyes. Observe that the form of this. And don't forget that Y prime, Y prime simply means what there? Dy dx. In essence, this thing here is the same as saying dy dx, dy dx plus um, y, sorry, yeah, plus y cot of x is equal to 2 cos x. So you have this. Now, if you look at this, it follows the form dy dx plus u of x, this is u of x. Y is equal to what there? V of X. So it becomes what there? The integrating factor concept. So from here, we know that U of X is simply whatever is attached to Y. So it could come before Y or after Y. But literally, anything attached to Y becomes that. U of X equals to what there? Cut X. The integrating factor is equal to exponential the integral of u of x dx i'm saying that the integrating factor if is equal to exponential the integral of what's u of x cot x dx we have this what's the integral of cot x what is the integral of cot x? What's cot x? Huh? What about? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's 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 do something right. What's cot? What's it cot x? What's cot mean? What about inverse of tan? Becomes one over tan x. Right. Next thing now be how do you integrate one over tan x? What do you do? What's the value of tan x? What's the value of tan x? That's equal to 1 all over tan is sine of x all over cosine of x. You have this. If you take inverse, what happens? Goes upside down. So this is equal to what there? Cos x over what there? Sine x. So I am saying this. I am saying that the integral of cos x is the same as me saying the integral of what there? Cos x over what there? Sine x dx. If I integrate this, what do I get? Simple. For this one here, you say let u be equal to denominator. I know fully well that if I differentiate denominator, I'll get numerator. So because what there? Substitution. Let u be equal to what there? Sine x. Differentiate this and this. You have that du dx. Differentiate sine x. You have what there? Cos x. Let's get the x here. To get the x, these two swap. So I'll have that du all over this one here cos x is equal to what there? Dx. That's it. All right? This two swap position is correct as we did in our previous classes. From here, this will give you to be equal to integral of cos x. So I have cos x all over sine x. Sine x is u. u dot dx. What's dx there? Du over what there? Cos x. This will cancel this. I have 1. So that's equal to what there? The integral of 1 over u dot du. What's what? What's, if, if I integrate 1 over u, what do I get there? This is equal to lean u, of course, plus c if you want to. That's equal to lean what u? So that means the integral of this one here is lean sine x. That's equal to exponential. We've done it already there. That gives you lean of what there? Uh, yep, lean of sine x. We've said again in our previous class, right? Now, in the previous example, we said if I take exponential lean something, it's equal to what there? That thing. So this is equal to what there? Sine x. This is the value of the integrating factor. So please note that if I take the exponential of lean of anything, it gives you that thing. We've said that in the previous example or the previous class. We've proved this in the previous class. 
my next tax is to multiply by integrating factor so multiply multiply by integrating factor integrating factor please um i'm multiplying this so i have this as um sign i want to clean this out house space please i need space i want to clean this anybody here Just copy down, copy down, copy down. Let's see what we can get. Or better still, I could just clean this off. And um, yes, I could take sine x to this. I could have sine of x, this into this. That's dy dx plus y cot x. Cot of x. This already have a round bracket. I'll change it to a square bracket. Come here, changes the square brackets. This is equal to sine x2. Multiplying this man here. Multiplying 2 cos x. Let me just use round bracket here. So I have this. So sine x multiply both sides. This and this gives you dy dx sine x plus this and this gives you what there? Um, this one gives you what there? Y sine x. Y sine x cot x. Cot x. It's equal to this and this and this. Gives you 2 sine x cos x. So I have this. All right, we don't have to show us about this. For this part, it will be what there? D all over what there? Dx of y times the integrating factor. This one here. Sine x is equal to... Uh, what do you have? What is this? How do you integrate 2 sine x cos x? What do you do? This one here. This one, so this one will be equal to the derivative of y times integrating factor that's this now for this side how do you work on this because we want to say let u be equal to it's not it's, it's not if you need substitution not cancel out how do you solve this is what it's what my parts mm -hmm. yes that's actually correct That's why you have to open your eyes. Open your eyes. From tree, from trigonometry, we know that, but, let me write it here. But, we know that sine 2x, right, is equal to what there? 2 sine x cos x. It's a trig function. Right, this one, this one, this, these are like the apex of them all. When you have to infuse trig functions and integration. Right. Why is this correct? Do you know why this is so? Do you know why this is so? Hey. What is sine A plus B? Let me show you. Let me just do it quickly. What's sine A plus B? Sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Now, change this to, if you say 2x, 2x is simply what there? x plus x that gives you sine x cos x plus cos x sine x i change both of them to what there x this gives you that sine x plus x this is what there 2x is equal to now sine x cos x is the same thing as cos x sine x true or false talk now sine x cos x is the same as cos x sine x Yes, so it becomes what there. These two are the same thing, so it becomes what there. That's it. The question now is that will you remember this thing? What is sine A minus B? What is cos A plus B? 
what is cos A minus B? Will you remember them? Joy, will you remember them? So in essence, this one here gives you what there? Sine two x. Please fast. I want to clean up, please. Fast, fast, fast. I want to clean up, please. Let's now integrate. Let's now integrate, please. The x goes here. I'm having d of y dot sine x is equal to sine of two x. The x goes here becomes what there? Yeah, so I have this. Of course, next tax integrating true. If I integrate, I'm having what there? Integrate true, I have the integral of d of what there? Y sine x is equal to the integral of what there? Sine of 2x dx. Um, how do I divide this board now? Okay, I'll just write it here at once. Integral cancels d. So y sine x right integral cancels d y sine x is equal to if i integrate sine 2x what do i get if i integrate sine 2x what do i get The tax here, the integral of sine 2x dx. Substitution method, you see, let u be equal to, tell me the bracket, 2x. What's du dx? du dx is equal to what there? Differentiate 2x, you get what there? 2. How do you get the x? They will switch over. So you have that du all over 2 is equal to the x. Let's substitute. This becomes the integral of sine 2x. 2x is u. That becomes u dot dx. What's the x there? du over 2. From here, you can see 1 over 2 already. Take it outside integral sine. 1 over 2 integral of sine u du. Sine u. Please, total derivative. If I integrate sine u, what do I get? Minus. Minus cos. That's equal to 1 over 2. Integral of sine u gives you uh, this into minus cos u. This is equal to minus times. This gives you minus 1 over 2 cos u. What u? That's equal to minus 1 over 2 cos 2x. This gives you minus 1 over 2 cos 2x plus c cos how do you get y here at this point divide through by what there sine of x okay divide so at this point, you just write down divide by sine x so this one here this all over sine x this all over sine x this all over sine x so what do you have there this will cancel this y is equal to so i'll just take one over two this is same as saying minus one over two you can take this over this please that becomes cos of two x all over sine x So I'm trying to master how to write one like this. So I'm intentionally always doing this. So you have this, this plus C all over sine X. So basically, here's your answer. But as you know, you don't always start a fraction with a negative. So you have to swap them, swap them, swap them. And by swapping them, by swapping them, I mean this.
by swapping the mean that y is equal to take the positive first c all over sine x then the negative minus you can say instead of saying minus one vertical just say minus cos 2x that works so minus cos 2x all over 2 times sine x 2 sine x 2 sine x this looks better all right the simple concept is that you don't start what's it called a fraction with a negative or sorry you don't start a an equation negative well except you have negative negative then that's okay but if you have a negative and positive it's imperative that you take the positive before the negative so you have this that's about this uh, one more question that we'll go and break this get more by joining our differential equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the differential equations made easy course both links in video description